But then you have you have so much places to sit, but why why you gotta sit on what I'm what I'm working on right now? Hmm? Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be crocheting a sweater. All right, some of y'all might be like, hey, did you dye your hair back to brown? Nope, I did not. It just took me two months to finish this sweater. And uh, in those two months, I've changed my hair color two more times. So by the end of the video, I will have a different hair color. So I'll have three different hair colors in the span of this entire video. I started this video back in June and then a bunch of other projects that I wanted to get done for the summer kind of got in the way of me finishing this project, but I did it, finished it. This is the video for it. Okay, is it the summer? I don't know. I, I'm filming this like mid-June, so it's not technically summer yet, but next week will be summer and every day will get a little bit shorter in the light and then soon it'll be October spooky season. To make sure I'm able to wear some things during the fall season, I'm gonna start right now. Should I be making stuff for the summer? Probably, but when I have an idea in my head, I can't be stopped. My idea is I'm going to put a car on it. I'm going to crochet a car. I'm gonna do the tapestry crochet that I've done with many of my other sweaters. But I'm gonna put a car, and I'm actually going to put a 1989 Chevy Caprice car on my shirt. Now, if you're not familiar with this car, this is like the generic cop car that you see in all the 1980 movies. It's also the car I learned to drive in. That was fun, being a 16 year old, trying to drive a boat pretty much is how it felt. But no, when my sister got to drive a car at that time, I had a little cute orange veil. She got to drive in that, so yay. I wanted to commemorate the car that I learned how to drive in on a sweater. The other day, I did go to Lens Mills. Lens Mill. I keep wanting to call it Lens Mills, but there's no S on the end of Mill. It's just Lens Mill. I ended up going there with my sister to buy fabric stuff, to buy stuff to sew with. And I ended up leaving with yarn. I told my sister I had this idea and I'm like, oh, I want to do like a green like backdrop with a car. Cause like, that's what I envisioned. And she's like, well, why don't you use the same color as the seats? You genius. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But anyways, the seats were this color. They weren't red. I don't think they were this dark but they weren't red red. So it's like this nice burgundy color and they did have a sale on it. So that's kind of why I bought it. They were originally $6.99 each, but they were 25% off. So if I bought four of them, technically one is free. I don't think I'm gonna need four. I never know how much yarn I'm gonna need for these projects. Yes, I write them down in my project books. Do I ever look at the project books after the project is done? Not really. I should probably start doing that. Anyways, I bought four skeins of this. I have one, I have two. There's another one somewhere. And these are just the Burnett Super Value yarn. The color is burgundy and it is a medium four weight yarn and it tells me to use a five millimeter crochet hook. Don't worry y'all, I checked the dates. I checked the lot numbers on all of this yarn so I know it's gonna match because you know the hassle I had during the Fall Out Boy sweater that I did when I didn't realize that the Bernat Blacks were not the same in both the skeins of yarns that I bought. I made sure I checked this time. I actually started working on this project last night because I got bored. And I started just with the sleeve. So this is gonna be the sleeve. And what I like to do with the sleeve is I like to do a half double. It takes a little bit less time to do because it's a half double instead of a single crochet, but also it's not as good. It's not gonna be as bulky and as hot on the sleeves, whereas the front and the back will be single crochet because when I do my tapestry crocheting, I like doing it in single crochets. That's what's gonna happen. I've wound that up. For the color of the car, I'm actually gonna be using this, which I bought maybe a month or two ago at the actual same lens mill. And it is Lion's Brand Pound of Love the color antique white. Now I bought this one just because the car that I did have, I don't think it was a white white. I think it was an off white. So that's why I'm gonna use this. It might, this one might look really white on camera, but in person it has that little bit of like yellowness to it. So it is more of like an, an off white. I'm not gonna need hardly any of this because most of it is gonna be burgundy. This is a white white. Look at the difference now. So this is a white and this is an off white. You can clearly tell the difference like that. It just looks like white and now it doesn't. I also have this color here, which is like this beigey color that I'm actually using for my temperature blanket, which is here. And there will be a video on that January, 2024. But I'm thinking about maybe using this one because the angle I want to put, I don't want it like a flat car. I kind of want like some dimension to it. And to do that, I'm thinking about maybe using 
this color for the shading. Like, you know, so that way it's not all just one flat photo. Maybe give it a little bit of dimension. I don't know yet. And then I also got this for my yarn stash and it's gonna be the tires. I don't own any gray yarn and I'm gonna need gray yarn for the front, like the grill of it and the bumper and then like the hubcaps I'm gonna need a gray. I don't have gray. I think my sister does, so I might borrow it from her because I need two two gray yarns, I need like a darker gray and a lighter gray. And I don't wanna go and buy those colors if I only need like a little bit. Like that's not gonna be a big color on the car, but I do need it. I think this is gonna work. We'll have to see, I don't know. I've always done everything just very flat. And so it was very easy, whereas this has a little bit of dimension. So I don't know how it's gonna read on a crocheted item. Hopefully it turns out okay. I think I just wanna get the sleeve done first and then get the yarn that I need. And then maybe I'll start working on the front panel and then maybe I'll go back to the other sleeve, who knows, but but at least today, working on the sleeve. Now I've gotten into the like the tapestry part of me like making things. And like, this is probably the most complex pattern, even more complex I feel than the Hellfire one because look at all the color changes just in this little area here. I have to go black, light gray, black, off-white beige, dark gray, and then, and then eventually like white and the yellow and everything's gonna get mixed in, especially like this area here. Oh my goodness, that's... It's gonna be fine. There's gonna be a lot of little like intricate changes. We'll see how this goes. Packable yarn is great for these type of projects. My sister ended up not having the gray colors I needed, so I had to, uh, I had to go buy them. Only thing I hate about them is that they don't give you a center pull. And normally I ball up the yarn, I do this, but for this project, don't even need that much yarn. So I don't wanna like spend my time winding up this color when I'm only gonna need it for like three lines. But I pulled from that end, nothing. I pulled from that end, nothing. Like, <sighs> This brand, it just drives me nuts, it drives me nuts. My last tapestry project only involved two colors. I forgot how stressful it is. There's, there's a lot of yarn. I'm making good progress, but I have that, 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 this, and then there's that one over there. I mean, this is the most difficult part. I feel like I'm maybe a third way done the car. I'm almost done all the most intricate colors because then after this part, so I'm like right here right now. And after that, all I have to do is like the shadow color, which is like this beigey color, normal white and black, and just a little bit of gray up there. So it's not gonna be too difficult. It's just this part here that's a little tricky. Something else that I do now for my crocheting is instead of having like a red strand over here, go all the way over to this side, I actually just have two yarn balls going on at all times. One of them does like all of this stitches and then the other one does all of these stitches and that's the same thing that goes for this instead of having this yellow go all the way across i just cut it and then leave a really long strand and then move on to here I did this i think for the last the follow boy sweater so the follow boy sweater that i did in march i ended up doing that for both the sides so i wouldn't have it all in the middle but it, it does really help this is two days of work like this isn't looking too bad. So I'm at the part where I need to start adding the roof, but I don't know. I'm not too sure if I want to add the roof yet or if I want to add like one more line of black. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put a roof up to here and see if I like it. And if I like it, then I'll continue on my merry way. If not, then I'll just take it back to here and add an another row of black. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad with like the window being that height, I guess. I think it would also look good if I move this up one more as well. But the, the car is very much like on an angle, like right, the car that I picked. So, hmm. I don't know, it doesn't look bad though. So look at this, I've gotten the front of it done. I really like how it turned out. Like I am quite surprised it turned out as nice as it did. And what I'm really glad that I did is I made a shadow color. So then that way the car has a little bit of dimension. Otherwise I might've had to like create like a line or something. I ended up just using this beigey color. I believe this color is called Heather. This is actually the same color that I used for my, it's over there. I think you should leave tote bag. And I just had extra, I'm like, hmm, let's do this. I wanted it to have not so much a 3D effect, but I didn't want it to look flat. And honestly, I think this looks amazing. Basically, Basically now all I have to do is just make a back piece and two sleeves, which I actually did start one of the sleeves a month ago when I started this project, <laughs> when I had a different hair color. That's pretty much it. I've taken a little break from this to work on a bunch of other projects. I don't know, this is just isn't like my main priority project. I do really wanna get it done, but again, it is a sweater, so it's not something that I need to make 
right now. Although like this project is something that I really want to get done. I'm really excited to wear this. It is still July. And I know that I'm not technically going to wear this until probably to the end of September. Let's be realistic. It's still going to be warm in September. So it's not something I need to get done right now. So if another project comes along that I can actually use now or I'm really excited about, I'll pick that one. But anywho, today I'm working on this. The other day I started to work on the back panel and my original idea was I was just going to do a plain back panel. I was just going to do this all, this burgundy maroon red. I was just going to do the whole thing. And then it dawned on me, you know, those little children's sweaters where it's like the front of something and then on the back of the shirt, it's the back of something. I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna do the back side of the car on the back side of the sweater. Not to make things any more difficult for me, but I thought that this would be like a cool little idea. But what I'm kind of coming into right now that's a little bit of a, a problem is I don't know how to position it because it has to do with like, not so much math. I wanna crochet it so that way the trunk of the car is on this side of the shirt like on this side of the sweater on the back. So they're both going in the same direction. So it looks like it's pointing in the same direction. Like if you were to put the car through my body, through the sweater, it's driving in the same direction, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna probably just crochet a bunch of stitches. Probably won't even get to the car part today. You know, so that's on something that I'm gonna do is I am gonna make the back part of the car. And then the sleeves are just gonna be simple. That's where I am with this car sweater. I haven't abandoned it. I'm not gonna abandon it at all. It just, other things happen and then I just get those things done. And there'll probably be other projects that happen that I put a halt to this one again and work on those things. I started the back of the car today. I know when I start getting tired and not paying attention is when I make mistakes. Like right here is a little silver. There's only supposed to be two. I made four, which means that the headlights are now off, which means I have to take this whole row and a half off. There's supposed to be two silver on this side and then there's supposed to be two silver on this side. So I say that's four. So then I did four. Also, I'm watching TV. So that factors into the fact that I'm not paying attention as much as they should be. To be fair, this back is turning out pretty good. I just have to take a row and a half off now. Yay. Okay, so it's been a little while since I've stopped working on this. And it's not that I don't want to finish this. I really want to wear this. Took a break to do that uh, green and white hexagon short sleeve top. Turned out pretty good. I really liked it. If you haven't watched the video, check it out. We're back on here. And this is the only project that I'm going to focus on now until it's done. And then I have three other, yeah, three other projects that I want to do. They're good projects. I'm excited for them. I kind of want to start them right now, but I got to get this done. We're going to get this done. We're going to get this done. Pippin, you have, you have so much places to sit, but why, why you got to sit? on what I'm, what I'm working on right now. Hmm, look at those, look at those little paws. Look at those little paws. Oh, we're such a cutie though. But you can't stay there. No, you gotta go somewhere else. You can sit on my lap, but you just can't sit on the project. All right, I'm back at it. I have no idea, like, this project for some reason is just taking so long for me. I started it in June. June the 13th is when I started it. It is now August the 13th. I have literally been working on this for two months. Granted, I took a lot of time in between each time I was working on it, but for two months and I'm still not done this. Let's see. Okay, so within the two months of me making this, I made, I think you should leave tote bag, the Barbie sweater, a giant hamburger, green and white hexagon short sleeve one. And then I did a video where I worked on three projects that needed to get fixing. I worked on a lot of projects in between times, but here we are. I'm really hoping that I don't have anything else to work on because here's the thing. There's a sweater that I really want to make when this is done. I know, I know. But it's a really cool one with really cool colors and I really want to do it. So this has to get done and then I can do that one. And then I can do it in a bag and then I can do another sweater. I am already planning my Halloween sweaters, okay? So this one needs to get done. Okay, I did it. I finished all the pieces. It's only taken me two months, but I did it. So what do we have? What do we have? We've got the front of the car. We've got the back of the car and we got two sleeves. So today what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to be connecting 
all of them together. It's so funny because every time I connect them together, I'm like, it's not going to take too long. You're going to get it done soon. Connecting the pieces together takes longer than I think. So I might just only get putting them together tonight because I got to edit a video for tomorrow. It's the whole thing. If, say, I get them all connected and I'm still feeling you know, good. I think I might start the bottom ribbing. Now the bottom ribbing, I'm actually going to be using the same color. I'm going to be doing the cuffs and the bottom ribbing, the same red color as this. And then for the collar, I'm going to be doing a white collar because I think that would look pretty cute. And then that way it kind of looks like I'm wearing like a button up shirt underneath it where everything else is going to be red. It's just going to be like the pop of white. I think that would look really good, but that's where I am right now is I just have to put them all together. That's what I'm working on tonight. I might've made it like a little bit too small. The sleeve, as you can see, is a little short. I am going to be putting ribbing, but here's the thing is that the last one I did this way too big. So I'm like, I'll just take it down. 10 It's a little small. Like I wish it was just a little bit more baggier. I don't know. Oh, I've been working so hard on this one. And now I'm just like, I don't know what to do. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ribbing on the bottom. I think I'm going to make the sleeves a little bit longer. Again, I did the sleeves the same length as I did the other ones, but because this was longer, that means that like this would have gone down to here and my sleeve would have started here. So it would have made sense. I'm going to have to add some more rows onto the sleeve, unfortunately. I don't really want to do that. That's what I'm going to have to do. So yeah. The bottom ribbing is done and I did try it on and it fits a lot better with the bottom ribbing. I don't know why I thought I should do 70 across. I've learned my lesson from now on, 80 chains across, minimum, minimum, unless it's a very chunky yarn. Like if it's uh, say like Craft Smart yarn, then maybe 70 will be okay. But if I'm using Impeccable or Bernat, 80 chains at least, no less than 80. It fits good, it's just more fitted and I like a looser fitting sweater. But I mean, I guess like the more I wear it, the more it's gonna stretch out. What I'm doing is I have to add three inches onto the end of the sleeve. Here's a tip. If you're not too sure how long they should be and you've already attached it, there's always where you start and where you end a crochet. And where I ended the crochet is where I put it on the end of the sleeve. So I can just crochet into these loops and it looks like I never did anything. When you are attaching sleeves, whatever's the open face of it, like whatever's gonna be open and you're gonna be doing ribbing on, it's best to do it where you ended your crochet than where you started. My plan was I was just gonna go around and around and around. And I just realized right now that I can't do that because when you go back and forth and back and forth, you get these like little ribbed edges kinda, like they, you know, you, you kinda see that, right? But you don't get that when you go around and around and around. I'm gonna have to take apart the last three rows I did because it's not right. Gotta do it again. You can kind of see where I left off. If you look at it, you can't really even tell besides like this opening where I continued because I went all the way around and then I went all the way back. So instead of going in a continuous circle, I had to stop, work my way back, stop, work my way back. And it worked out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach these two together and then I'm gonna be doing the cuffs on both sides. And then I have to do the neck and then I have to add the little detail, which I bought some certain type of thread string to do that. The little detail I have to put on the front is the little gold hood ornament, which, you know, they're not on cars anymore, but this one had one, so I had to add it. I didn't really do the best job. I couldn't, I don't know. I had a tough time, but it's there. And if I feel like changing it in the future, I can change it. I filmed myself making the collar like a tutorial because guess what? I made it a tutorial. It's not out yet. It will be this week but I gotta get this video done first and edit it out for Sunday and then I can work on that one. But anyways, I made a tutorial video on how to make one of my little collars. It's quick, it's easy, and it'll be out this week. And here it is all done. After what, two and a half months I did it, finally got it done. You know what? It actually did turn out a little bit better than I thought. I still feel like it is a little bit small. Here's the thing. Again, I'm not saying it's small, like it doesn't fit me. It's just it fits me and I'd rather it be a little bit oversized. So that that's the only issue because you can kind of see how like slimming it is and I don't want that. The collar is just throwing me off. The way I like attached it together, one side's a little bit longer than the other. I have to fix it. Don't worry, it will get fixed. Here is the front of the car and then the back of the car. I do think that the back of the car is a little bit bigger than the front of the car image. It is what it is. I did my best. Again, I made it up in my head and it turned out the way it turned out. I'm fine with it. It looks like a car. Like I wasn't too sure. It was one of those things where I'm like, is what I'm making actually gonna look like what I want it to be? And I think it does. I think it looks like a car. And then I even put like the little hood ornament. I think I could have done a better job making the hood ornament, but I was getting frustrated 
faded, so I just sewed whatever. This gives it a little gold sparkle. Again, no one's gonna be like this close to me to look at it from far away. I think I can pull it off. I think the back actually looks pretty good. And you know what? I think that the back of it looks better than the front because I did the front first and then I did the back. And I think I learned from my mistakes from the front. So when I did the back, kind of made those adjustments. I think what I should have done is the back first and then learn from those and then did the front. But again, at the time, I didn't even know I was gonna make the back, so. Here we are. I think the fit actually looks better than I thought it did. I think it was when I didn't have the ribbing on the bottom and then the sleeves weren't long enough. Really messed with my head. Ew. I had to figure it out. The sleeve length, again, I think it worked out pretty well before. I think it only went up to here and that would have been a lot of ribbing. The cuff would have been had to be a lot longer. So, I mean, it would have worked, but I am glad that I did add length to it. And the whole reason why I had to add length to the sleeve, right here is where I attached it. Usually this main piece and the back piece go to about, I have to say about like right here. So the sleeve wouldn't start to there. So technically the sleeve was right. The front and the back piece were wrong. I did make my notes. So next time I know. I think I give this probably an eight out of 10. If it fit me just a little bit better, the collar is just kind of throwing me off right now. I Well, I think the problem is that I laid it out and then sewed the collar on when I needed to actually have the collar on, pin it and then attach it to the garment. Just needs to come down a little bit more. All right, so let's get into the logistics of this masterpiece. First off, it took me 28 hours to make. 28 hours to make. Probably would have taken me a little less time had I uh, not made those issues. Like I said, this is probably one of the longest projects I've done in a really, really long time. The last few projects have been like pretty easy, you know, like less than 20 hours to do, but this almost being 30 hours, that's a long time. The amount of yarn I used for, let's see, I ended up buying four of these. I think I used two and a half. I didn't need to buy four, but in my head, I keep thinking front needs one, the back needs one, and the sleeve each needs one. So that's four. And then I remember like I wanted to do the ribbing in the same color. Didn't need to have four of these. And then if you want to do the math, because I don't want to do the math, there is 440 yards of yarn in one of these. I used two and a half. So that's, that's the math for it. I do think it is really cute. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm like, yeah, I did a really good job. It was just that one moment in time when nothing really looked right, got stuck in my head. And then I'm like, oh, this project's a disaster. But now I'm quite happy with how this looks. Also, I do want to mention that this pattern will be on my Patreon probably in the next week or two. I have to actually now take all the measurements, take all of my messy, messy notes and make them nice and neat and easy for everyone else to read. I'm hoping this week I can get it up. If not, the following week, this will be up on my Patreon. So again, you will be getting the grid for the front, a grid for the back, and then you'll be getting all the dimensions for the collar, the sleeves, the ribbing, everything. So if you haven't already subscribed to my Patreon and you like the patterns I make, it's maybe something you want to do because if I make something as intricate as this, I will be uploading it on my Patreon. So that way you guys can download the pattern and make it for yourself. I think that does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course, crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok and of course my Patreon now. I think that's it. See so y'all have a good day now.